Hello everybody, it is Papa Elf again in another video installment. So today I want to do a couple of things. First, I want to introduce a program called Inkscape. Now Inkscape is awesome because it allows you to manipulate your vector images, even allows you to do a bit of photo editing using raster images. And the best thing is that it is totally free. So you can download it for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So I use Linux, so this is awesome for me. I love this program. So I'm just going to show you the files that we are going to work with today, okay? So I am using a stock image, right? And I will be using our logo in PDF format. So this is important. Um, this PDF was created using a vector file, so this is actually a vector PDF. Now, if you have a PDF file, but you it's a raster-based PDF, we may not be able to work with the individual elements in that file. I'll show you how this works, you know, in just a second here. I am going to show you a quick tutorial of how to do an Instagram image with some text and in that process I'm going to show you how to import both these images into Inkscape and we are actually going to make some changes to our logo okay so let's get started so I'm going to open up Inkscape so this is our blank document so what the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the document size into our Instagram post size, okay? So you go to the document properties. I will change this to pixels and I know Instagram posts are 1080 by 1080. So you can look up all the different standard dimensions for Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, all of that. So you could do the same thing for your other social media posts. Okay, so let's change our page size. So this is the canvas that we're gonna be working with, okay? The first thing I wanted to do is I am going to import in our background image. So there it is, the autumn boots, open that up. I'm going to import with smooth to optimize for quality. As you can see, the image is quite large. So we are going to zoom out. I will actually move this to the side for a second and I'll grab one of the handles, hold the control key and resize it. So the control key allows me to retain the aspect ratio of the image, okay? So it doesn't look distorted when we resize it, okay? Now, I obviously need to clip this image so that it fits onto our page and the way to do that in Inkscape is like this. So we're going to create another rectangle, okay? So this is the part that we're going to clip. I'm going to change that rectangle size to the same size as our Instagram post, 1080 by 1080. That's in millimeters, change that to pixels. Did it do it? Nope, got to do it again. So 1080 by 1080 pixels. All right. So that is our canvas. Now, you can actually change, now this is probably, I'm not sure if this is the default, but say you can't see the image in the background, we can change that, okay? So if we go to select our square, go to fill in stroke, we can change the color, okay? We can change it to black, whatever, and we can change the opacity or the transparency, okay? So I'm not too concerned about that right now. I just wanna make sure that I can see the background image in the back, all right? So I'm going to select our background image and we are gonna fit this in there, okay? Into our frame, all right? So that doesn't give me a bit of clarity. I'm gonna change that to maybe a little bit lighter. Be a little darker actually so I can kind of yeah let me figure out all right just play around with it still holding the control key all right so I just want a bit of the shoes a bit of the leaves in the back cool 
Okay, so I'm set on that. So this is what I want clipped, okay? I'm gonna select both, go to object, clip, set, okay? Bang, all right? So got rid of the opacity and everything, and this is our image. So the next thing I wanna do is move this to our page. So select this guy, go ahead to align and distribute, okay? Relative to page, align is vertical, align to the horizontal center, bang. There we go. So this is now our background image. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna create an overlay, right? So a little bit of a tint. I want this to have a little bit of a tint so that our text will pop out, okay? So uh, the way to do that is another rectangle, same thing, right? We need to change that to so in pixels. I'm gonna change this to, again, 1080. 1080 cool all right I want to align that relative to page to the middle again there we go and that's our overlay all right we are going to change that up a little bit we'll make it a black okay and we're gonna play around with the transparency so I want it to be a bit lighter a bit lighter maybe like that okay 139 less than 135 okay cool so this allows us, this darkens the image a little bit, as you can see, right? So it just helps to make that white text pop out a little bit more, okay? Now, I want to, before I add the text, I want to add my logo somewhere on here. Let's say top left. So what I can do is I can import my logo. So go ahead and import, okay? The event Elves logo. Now this is important, this dialog box is important. So you can either in, do an internal import, okay? But uh, text is stored as text, right? But the thing is, sometimes it doesn't work too well because you may not have the fonts installed in your system. So what I recommend doing is doing the popular import. So what it does, it just creates outlines of the text, okay? so that you can easily manipulate it and it retains its shape just in case you don't have those fonts installed in your computer. Press OK. There's our logo. Now, I'm going to resize this holding the control key so that it doesn't distort the image. And look at that. The elves don't really pop out. So I need to make some changes. Now, we'll move this to the side a little bit. We'll zoom in. I want to change the elves to white, right? And this is where Inkscape is awesome because I can actually do that now. So I'll select the image, and there's a couple ways to break up this image, okay? So you can either go to Object, Ungroup, okay? And it looks like that worked. Now, if that doesn't work, okay, another way to do it is you go to Path and you can do break apart, okay? Either or should work, okay? Depending on how your um, vector file was created. But in our case, we can just ungroup it. Pretty easy. So you can see the individual pieces now, the E, the event, and then the individual letters for elves. So what I wanted to do was I just wanted to change the elves into white. Bang, there we go white we're gonna select everything again object group it back cool so now when I bring this in it's gonna look much better there it is see guys you don't have to have expensive Photoshop you know okay cool 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 All right, that looks pretty good to me. What do you think? Cool. Uh, the last thing, we're gonna add some text. So I don't have any fancy quotes in my head at the moment. So we're just gonna add something cheesy. Your journey begins here. All right, I'll do some pre-formatting here. So I want the journey to be in the next line. 
we'll play with that, okay? Play with that. Maybe capital J for the journey, because it's important. Alright? And we'll maybe add some dot 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 in there. Okay. Now, I need to change the text color. So select your text, go to the fill and the stroke. So for the fill, I want it to be white. Okay, change the text to white. Make sure the transparency is all the way up. And the stroke, I will maybe flat color. Yeah, let's do flat color. The stroke is just the outline, really. So we'll give it a, a black outline. Okay, we can't really see it because the text is tiny. That's all good. Now we're going to change the font and all of that. So we go to text and font. Okay, we'll pick a font. Uh, you can sometimes, you know, depending on what the fonts you have installed on there, you can see a preview of what that looks like. Okay, that actually looks kind of decent. So we'll go with that. Yeah, what's that? Century school book. Okay, italic, font size 30. We'll try it. Apply. Now we can either change the font size or we can actually resize it here. So we'll try resizing it. So again, holding down the control key. Yeah, so you can resize it like that. Let's see. Yeah, it does resize the font automatically. Yeah, so that's cool. I can just resize it here. Your journey begins here. Something like that. Yeah, what do you reckon? <laughs> Uh, but anyway, that's just, you know, we'll center it, see if that looks any better. That work. Apply, of course. There we go. Something like that. You can just also align and distribute, okay? Relative to the page, align to the horizontal. Yes. Vertical. Yes. Okay. That's it, guys. So, you'll... Play around with it. This is just a really simplistic example, right? You can put whatever text, you can add some more photos or what have you. Um, let's just say, we'll try one more thing with the font, see if it looks any better. We'll make it into a bold, bold italic. Of course, hit apply. There we go. Looks a little bit better, a little bit beefy. Now, the last thing that we want to do is we are going to, obviously, bad practice. I did save this while we were doing this, but we're going to save it anyway. Save it as uh, insta-e. SVG file is your scalable vector graphic, so that's a vector file, so you could change it later on. Now, we can export this, so we can upload it onto our Instagram, so we are going to go export PNG image it'll pull up a dialog box here on the left hand right hand side we're gonna export the whole page okay this is important whole page now we need to make sure that this is 1080 by 1080 okay it actually changed it to 96 dpi okay if you're not comfortable with 96 dpi, you want it to be 150 dpi, you can change that here, okay? So we'll do 150 dpi. What that does is it automatically adjusts your width and your height, okay? All right, so this is your new width and height for that resolution, okay? It's still gonna be a square, right? But it's at 150 dpi, so it's gonna be bigger. So just, just a little thing, but let's say we'll keep it at 1080 by 1080 for sim for this example. We're going to give that a file name, okay? I actually have this in my downloads folder, the demo. Let's just say it's Insta EE, okay? Save. It'll automatically give it the PNG extension. We're not done yet. Then click export. Okay, export that out. Cool, let's check out our finished file. And there it is, the PNG file. You can upload this now onto your Instagram. It'll look great. It'll be sized properly, okay? And that is pretty much the end of our tutorial. 
So I hope that you learned something today. Again, you may not be in a position to purchase those expensive photo editing software like um, uh, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, or even the simple web-based ones like Canva or Stencil. So this is another way for you to get started, okay, doing your own Instagram posts. This is Papa Elf. I hope that you have enjoyed today. I really enjoyed sharing this with you. Hope to see you next time. Have fun. If you have any questions, you can email me, papaelf at eventelves.com.au. Thank you.